Hello, great minds. Welcome to another fun field lesson on quantitative reasoning. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at test number 12. In test 12, there are three exercises to be done. Three exercises. But we are going to start with exercise one. Of course, we have operation methods of multiplication, division, and the use of imaginary number two. Multiplication, division, and imaginary number two. So, first of all, let's look at the picture. We have six star five equal to 15. We must make use of the six, the five, together to get the 15 all right and to do this the imaginary number two must also be used and let's check it out on the board the first thing we do is to multiply the given numbers we have six times five that gives us 30 six times five is 30 all right so what do we do next we divide this result by the imaginary number 2 divided by 2 so when you divide 30 by 2 of course the result is 15 so this is how we got the 15 you can also try to find the other two numbers for example the 5 okay right? so we make use of the 6 and the 15 on the board we are going to start with the 15 remember the imaginary number 2 because we divided to get 15 so we are going to multiply by the imaginary number so when we multiply 15 by 2 we get 30 now what do we do with the 30 and the remaining number of course we divide so we have 30 divided by 6 the result is 5 so this is how we got the 5 so the same way we get the 6 now let's look at the second exercise where we'll make use of addition subtraction we use multiplication we will use division and also imaginary number two all right okay now let's begin this is the picture it has two sides the two sides are independent of each other because numbers on the left side don't need numbers on the right side all right so let's begin if we wish to find the numbers at the middle all right we will have to make use of the number at the vertices on the left and on the right now let's start with the numbers on the left so the first thing we do to get the number in the middle is to add up the number at the vertices so we have 2 plus 4 that gives us 6 6 therefore is divided by an imaginary number two okay so we have three so this is how we got the number three we now if we wish to get or solve the problem on the right side we followed exactly the same procedure but making use of the numbers on the right side and so we start with the numbers on the vertices four plus six that gives us 10 remember there's an imaginary 2 you must divide with so we have 10 divided by 2 that's the imaginary 2 the result is 5 so that is how we got the number 5 all right so this is how we get the numbers inside if we wish to get any of the number outside that is numbers on the vertices 
okay so what we do is to simply reverse the process or the procedure we start with the number at the middle which is 3 this time we multiply by the imaginary number 2 so 3 times 2 gives us 6 so to get any of the number at the edge we subtract the remaining number so 6 minus 2 gives us 4 so the way we get this 4 is the way we are going to get every number on the edge now the final and our last example we are going to be making use of addition in this picture vein diagram all right if you look at this picture it has seven different sides each represents a problem you can see we are going to highlight five of these problems all right the first one is how many pupils like the three pets of course is number at the middle where the three circles intersect the number there is three so the answer to the first one is three how many people like dogs only so the part that represents that is the only part that belongs to dog and the number there as you can see is 20 so we simply say 20 people like dogs the same thing for cats and rabbit all right so 20 people like dogs only how many people like cats and dog only so that is where we make use of the point where two circles intersect for cats and dog you can see the number there for rabbits and cats you can see it and for dog and cat you can see it so it is obvious that four is the number of people who like cats and dog only next how many people like at least two pets that's points where you have two and also where you have three all right that is to say a minimum of two but can be more than two all right so we'll take the numbers in these four different sides starting with where we have two pets only we have four five and eight so when we add them up we are going to have 17 so but we are the three circles intersect which represent three pets we are going to have three there and so when we add the three to the 17 what we get is 20 so 20 is the number that represents at least two pets so we write down 20 and the last question is how many people are there all together in the school what that simply means is to add up all the numbers that makes up the venn diagram so everything is going to be added up we start with the number that represents one pet we have nine we have 20 for dogs and we have 36 for cats when we add up this we will get 65 65 next we are going to add up the part that represent two pets only two pets only we have four we have a five and we have an eight so we'll add up we will get 17 and finally we will have the part that represent three pets that is where they intersect we have three three is the number there so we add up everything when this is done carefully we will have a 5 from 15 then carry 1 so when this is added to 6 and 1 we get an 8 alright so everything is 85 
there are 85 pps in this school all right this is all we are going to take this lesson hope you had fun watching and learning today's class i urge you to do your quiz and your assignments and i'll see you in the next class thanks for watching bye